How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Guys, we're getting towards the middle of March 2016, and I live in Michigan. And Michigan only has two seasons, that is winter and construction. And in construction season, you may have 40 degree temperatures all the way up to 100. You never know, because Michigan sucks in terms of climate, okay? You southern gardeners get three full growing seasons. You guys get a cool season, spring grow, a warm season, summer grow, and a fall season, another cool season grow. We don't get that luxury here. We have to fit in three seasons in about five months at most, okay? So if we want to do a cool season spring crop of lettuce, it's probably not a good idea to start from seed outside because we may not have enough time before the hot weather hits and the lettuce won't be grown out. So we have to be prepared. We have to have lettuce seedlings ready to go for transplant mid-April. All right, so the, there's an easy way to do it. All it takes is one of these 10 by 20s with a bunch of those little insert deals, 72 plants we can get going now. It may seem a little bit early, but we can control the light. We can control a lot of different aspects around here and keep an eye on the weather forecast, okay? So what we're going to do is fill these up with any kind of potting soil that you choose. I'm going with Potter's Gold. And then we're going to pick some couple of different lettuces, plant them out. We should have 72 ready. And if we have good weather, come first part to mid-April, I will plant them out in the beds outside and the 8x4s outside and we're going to have a good little lettuce bed going out there this spring but we have to be prepared. It truly befuddles me that people would actually buy lettuce starts at a uh, nursery slash big bag store slash grocery store wherever you buy your starter plants. I just lettuce is just too ridiculously easy and if you plan on gardening anyway you might as well just buy a bag of potting soil and do this yourself and it'll cost about two to three dollars total to grow an entire tray of um, of plants as opposed to spending like a buck fifty for a six pack or a dollar for a six pack this is so much cost effective you can put it in a windowsill you can put it anywhere you want to keep the growing conditions slightly cooler than normal so I probably won't grow these in my grow room here because it's going to be too hot and if you got one of those seedling mats you know the, the mats that raise the temperature of uh, of your seeds by all means don't use it because this is a cool season crop don't use heat seedling mats it just makes the seed take so much longer to grow when you're dealing with cool season lettuces now let's find some lettuce and get to planting but before we do that in here I already bottom watered a little bit it's already sucked it up I'm gonna keep adding it on in until it's all sucked up and then we're gonna miss the top put a dome on it we're gonna be done now let's start planting here's the question we gotta ask ourselves and we gotta be really serious about it too did you really wanna watch me plant lettuce seeds I didn't think so basically guys you just take a few seeds throw it in each cell throw it on top and just kinda just make sure it's got contact with the soil. It doesn't even necessarily have to be buried. Just make sure it's got contact with the soil. Make sure you water from the bottom and only water from the bottom. Never overhead water on, uh, on these seeds, okay? With like a watering can or a jug or anything like that. You'll displace the seeds. And in fact, throughout the duration of the grow, always bottom water using one of these catch trays here. It's just so much easier and cleaner and simpler and it keeps pests and diseases and things like that off of the vegetation. So always go in and make sure that that's watered. And on the first watering, it's gonna take quite a bit because it's gonna wick up, okay? So keep adding some to the bottom until, it, until there's a little bit of a reservoir of water left over, okay? It'll eventually all wick up. The only time that we're gonna have to really worry about watering the top is right now because obviously we want a good moist uh, surface here um, in order to germinate these seeds okay so we're gonna get to spraying on those in a minute Blah! just kidding anyways what do we got here I planted half a flat here of Lalo red lettuce this is a Lalo Rosa and I love this lettuce okay 
Secondly, we've got your basic Simpson Elite. All right, that's your black seated uh, lettuce right here. And so I've got a half a flat of that, half a flat of that. They're both loose leaf varieties. This one grows kind of big. This one's more of a medium sized plant. And I was going to stagger the planting outside. Thought it would look kind of cool. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. All right. Now we put an old dirty tray on top guys we want this humidity dome in here we want to keep that moisture and keep those seeds good and moist and no one likes the word moist especially me but it's the only thing that i can think of damn damn would work now guys when it comes to lettuce seedlings you're playing a game of russian roulette you're going to keep them in the dark for a couple of days like i just mentioned however keep a very very close eye on them because you want to introduce them to some form of light immediately upon germination otherwise you stand a risk long leggy seedlings and that my friends is not good eats back to lettuce let us take a look all right guys so this simpson elite really popped up we've got our true leaves kicking on right now we've got a good half a flat going over here, our red lalos are just popping up uh, very sparsely. Looks like we're going to have a lot of empty spots here. What I'm going to do is completely throw this tray away, start over, because I just don't like the looks of half of this flat. Just kidding. I'm not going to bag the whole flat. What I am going to do is take some of these extra seedlings, and I'm going to transplant them into the empty cells over here. I'm gonna bag the whole Lalo idea. I don't really care for um, how slow it's going, plus it's old seed, and the old seed just isn't coming up as well as I thought it would. And if we're careful, if we're really careful, this is a super simple, easy process that can work on some plants, especially lettuce, because lettuce grows like a weed, all right? But the key is to be very genteel, all right? And so, we pick a like a couple of these cells here have quite a few very established seedlings here okay guys and you see what we got going on in there you want to pull these out very, very, very gently. And in the bottom here, that's that tap root, right? If that thing breaks, obviously your seedling is going to suffer. But if you're very gentle and you get it at just the right stage, we have an opportunity to take it from one cell and transplant it to another, and it will not miss a beat. I guarantee it. All we need is some sort of a utensil to make kind of a, a, a small hole here so that we can just slide insert and then push the dirt in and around it yeah so let's take this really nice seedling that we would have otherwise thinned and thrown away and put it right on over here get it into the soil prop it up And that thing is like good as new right there. Let's finish off this flat. It's very key to make sure that the soil is nice and moist. Bottom water this thing. Make sure there's moisture in there because these things are going to want to drink uh, and recover from any kind of stress that we just put on it. But I guarantee it will not, will not miss a beat. Oh. This is going to take forever. So when I say that these transplants are not gonna miss a beat. I really don't know that because I've never done this before. It's like 80 degrees here. I've got two long sleeve shirts on and a raincoat. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Logic would tell me that these little seedlings are suffering some sort of a shock transplant shock I don't know some of them are pretty wealthy already let's come back in a couple of days and see if uh, they perk up and how many we lose 
nonetheless, each cell now officially has one lettuce per cell, which could give us a potential of 72 heads of lettuce over two garden beds. I think that is going to be a lot of lettuce. All right, guys, we're about two days later from our little transplantation of the seedlings and things are looking good if things were going to go downhill they would have gone by now i think we're we're in the clear okay so this is going to be a horrendously long planting video for lettuce the next step is to let this stuff root out okay so let's do a little closer look at it because this is going to be the last time you take a look at this lettuce before it gets in the ground and i'll explain that okay guys so the furthest uh, away here this hat this half of the flat right there is the stuff that has not been transplanted monkeyed with or anything like that and you can see a difference okay that that side uh, because it hasn't been monkeyed with has continued to grow at a faster rate that's how fast lettuce grows this part is uh, the stuff we've been transplanting and it is uh, it, it's just fine it's sticking up no problem at all keep it watered we want to let this stuff root in really good okay so it makes transplanting uh, much easier it, we're gonna get it out of here like I've been saying for the longest time we're gonna get it out of here put it under some uh, LEDs cool running LEDs probably leave this flat sitting on a cold cement floor type of thing I don't want it to run away and and, and get ahead of me okay but it is going to take a couple of weeks for this to be completely rooted in and uh, ready for transplant why do I say this is the last video until uh, transplant because this is already an unbearably long video of planting some lettuce so it's going to be a two-part series the next part is bed preparation planting grow out and harvest man but it all starts here with seeds of flat and dirt. All right, guys, so grow your own lettuce, guys. Get your lettuce going. Make sure it's ready for spring, If you, especially if you live in the northern area and your growing season is short, all right? Simple, dirt, water, seeds. A little bit of light. All right, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Check out part two, which will be on the airwaves in probably 60 days. Thanks again, guys. Bye. So there's only one thing left to do, ladies, until spring officially comes and those beds get ready for planting lettuce. <laughs> and that's sit by the fire and wait.